manipulating my dreams. They're still manipulating my thoughts. They're still manipulating my my emotions. Um, and and I imagine that I'll probably die from this fairly soon, especially if if I continue to teach others about my experience. Um, you know, this isn't one of those things like like. Uh, what a big joke, this guy's crazy. Hey, look at this crazy guy, you know, ha, 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 you know. I mean, people who are like that, I don't know, man, you know. I don't know where you're at with your, your consciousness and your spiritual development. Once I realized that how pervasive this mind control is, how completely programmed we are, you know, I, I began to realize the prison of my mind that was that I allowed to be built. You know, that everything I know was stuff that I've been told. That that what I've been told was all lies. And 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 there's literally people out there, if they're people, I don't know, who seem to want to keep us ignorant, keep us stupid. I mean, we're being poisoned with fluoride and. and Know, all kinds of other stuff were being mind controlled on a mass basis. Chemtrails. Oh, that was the other thing I didn't mention. Um, chemtrails and Morgellons. A lot of people around the country are coming out with what they call Morgellons disease, which is this horrible disease where you get these lesions all over your skin and you feel like you have bugs crawling around under your skin. You actually do, I believe. And then these fibers start to grow out of your skin, black, red, different colored fibers and and nobody can seem to figure out what it is and da 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 da, da. Um, it's my belief that that part of the chemtrails is this material. It's uh, either it's either it's actual living creatures that are used as an infection vector or these are non living bio entities that were created by like DARPA or whatever they're into creating these things that are not alive but act as if they are um, or, or maybe they're actually alien entities I don't know there were, were creatures that were actually literally invisible in normal light and you could only see them if you took a piece of clear plastic tape and you stuck it on everything and then you looked up and you would see these little round almost like worm like creatures or nematode like creatures with segmented bodies and they would be in a half circle or three quarters of a circle you could not see them with your naked eye only stuck to the tape and it is my belief that there are a great deal of these insects that are being created whether they're alive or not i cannot say um we had a period where we had fibers growing out of our skin i mean so weird that there was literally a time where i was cutting my hair and I'm looking in the mirror, and I'm combing, and I'm cutting, and it's growing, and I'm cutting, and it's growing, and it's cutting, and I'm growing, and I can this big pile of hair on the ground, and I'm cutting it, and it's growing, and I'm, it, it was growing as I was cutting it. Very strange. You know, we had these hairs, these fibers growing out of our skin, these black and red. Um, thank God for us, this only went on for you know a few months or a year or whatever. But it's my belief that. These fibers have something to do with uh, it, it, nanotechnology, self-replicating technology, technology that, that, you know, it goes into you and it uses whatever elements that you have to manufacture itself on the atomic level. Um, and, you know, I mean, I've had a distinct feeling at times that that parts of me were being replaced by something artificial that was inside of me that was like eating up parts of me and replacing it with itself. I don't know if that's just a, a delusion because I have a good imagination or if it's something they put into my mind or if it was actually happening. There's no way that I can explain the, the, the puffy, gray, shape-changing, color-changing, mimetic, uh, chromoplast, uh, DNA creatures that were shooting out of our heads. There's no way I can explain the small black uh, speck-like things that were shooting off of our heads. There's no way I can explain the shredding of clothing and plastic bags and leather belts and leather clothing would shred. Uh, I had one time a pair of underwear 
that, that I was wearing, literally wearing it, and it went, and it got so big that it was like extra, 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 extra large, and it fell off of me. And we were looking at it going, what in the world is this? We were laughing our asses off because it was so crazy. This underwear was like growing. And then it stopped. I mean, some really weird examples of strange physical materials doing things. Um, as far as other beings, there were several times where we recorded entities, like we had video cameras going all the time, recording everything we did, said, whatever, because we wanted to get evidence. Um, there was a time where there were beings standing by our door, and you would look at the door and you couldn't see them. But you would look on the video and you would see these three beings, a taller one that looked possibly female and two shorter ones, and they were using something with their arms up here and like texting text messaging or something and they were watching us and and I just had the video camera not the recorder and I pushed record and it went and the whole thing went off the picture you could still see but the machine went off and I said to these beings that you couldn't see in the doorway that were only on the video would it be okay if I recorded this and I didn't get an answer but I said please and I pushed the thing and it was recording and it recorded for about a minute or so and then I turned it off and I said thank you they were there for about an hour, 45 minutes or so, and then they, they left. It seemed like they were very interested in what was being done here. Um, there was another time where there was an entity we could see in the mirror, reflected in the mirror, but we couldn't see in the room. Um, now there were some other weird things they did where they had this guy standing outside with a long jacket and a bag in his hand and he was doing this kind of dance as though he was a symbiotic host or some kind of gray alien that lived in his stomach or something. I don't know. Probably just something they pulled out of my imagination and figured they could uh, make it come true. It seemed like they did that a lot, like they were monitoring our thought process and, and our conversations and then they would try to make us you know, they would see what we would come up with and they would try to make that seem real. Unless, you know, there's the other thing where if you start thinking about the holographic nature of the universe and if consciousness actually creates the universe through some collapsing of the wave function and the photon to turn it into something with mass and this collective hallucination we call reality is actually created by our thoughts, then, you know, that's a whole different realm of possibilities now where you start wondering if perhaps they gave us these drugs that brought out this late thing and maybe these things were something that we were creating I, I don't know you know there's so many explanations um, that I think most of it was real you know that's the other thing that's weird is that this whole thing is like been an experiment in in trying to change people's minds, trying to change their ideas, trying to change their paradigm completely, radically, in ways that could literally, you know, blow your mind, could literally leave you, you know, psychotic or, or shut down because of sh sh traumatic shock or, you know, split personality, extreme stress, heart attack, aneurysm, whatever. Um, post-traumatic stress disorder, acute fear reactions. Um, and we're not the only ones they did this to. There was a woman downstairs that lived downstairs from us before they started torturing us badly. And we just thought she was some poor crazy old lady. And she would walk around like cringed over, hunched over, shaking in fear all the time. And she was terrified. Um, and then eventually she died. You know, we couldn't do anything for her. We couldn't talk to her. She wouldn't talk to us. She would. We just thought maybe she was crazy. But later, when they started 